now people will pop in the chat here in a minute and stuff like that. And I'm going to do my best. To, you're live. We'll let some people fill in the room. This will actually be a big surprise. Why is this? Ad inserted. Aventador 2004, Jeff's Custom RC. Yo, Ryan. Hey, we're going to hang out a little bit. We're doing this thing now. Y'all ready? Um, we're hanging out, doing a test. The RC Pilots Lounge. Things sound good. Victor Shamulus, Wayne Lee 630. Reckham Roy's RC. What's up, Ryan? We got we got some of our favorites here live right now with us. Rigatoni, uh, number five. Well, hello. Uh, Jeff's Custom RC. Let's do it. We're hanging out. Reckham Roy's RC. Shelby Seal back. Uh, Mitchell Farley, you guys are coming out strong. Um, I think this is – can you hear that? I had beans for dinner. I'm sorry. Uh, that sounds crazy. <laughs> So I don't need these. So it's it's coming in good. Hey, come on over here, Warren, if you want to get in on this. Uh, Aventador, sorry I wasn't able to make it. We are sorry you weren't able to make it either because one more person and we have 100 people. Ken, pull up a chair, man. Get in here. Uh, I want to have a chair. Yeah, you have to find one. They're all over the place. So we almost – so what's the first – Mike Kennedy, what's up? By the way, I made in your F-16 today. It was fantastic. And uh, I was going to joke you that I crashed it, but I didn't. It's still a great day, but it was a lot of fun. Um, Ken's here. We got one more guy, and we'll have 100. One more. One more. We we'll have 100. One person. One person. I think we'll get him tomorrow. Tomorrow being Saturday. Saturday. That's what they tell me. And when did the thing start officially? Like Wednesday, Ken? Thursday was the official start. Thursday date. was the official, Thursday, which was Friday, yesterday. Saturday, Sunday. Okay. Um, Mike Kennedy, Barry G. Oh, man, you guys, we're just going to hang out for a minute and see how this works. We uh, actually thought we were going to have an awful signal, but it seems to be coming through okay. What do you guys think? Tell me in the chat because we want to know. This is the test run before Saturday. And I tell you what, there's a lot of our friends here. I hope they kind of pop in, actually. Somebody get on Facebook and uh, share this out and tag the Timber Brothers. Get those turkeys down here. They're just down the road right now. And I'm going to. Back five off five. for a second. That's from Michael Sherman. Michael Sherman five said what? Five. What's that mean? That means good. Means 100%. Oh, five out of five. Five out of five. Oh, I get it. CV talk. Five I, out of five. I, okay. I, I quit driving a truck. I forgot all about it. <laughs> Ethan RC flew his timber today. It was awesome. That's fantastic. I tell you, we have seen a lot of fantastic jets here already. Be staying tuned to social media outlets. Horizon's been here, and they've been taking a lot of footage they have. Um, and doing some lives. I've been recording some as well, but it won't be – you won't see it until I get a chance to go through it and get it out there. So stay tuned as always. And tomorrow we're going to have a maybe better plan of what we want to do. But you know how it is, guys. We kind of just fly by the seat of our pants. That's get it? right. Get it? Um goodness i always wish i could hear these guys the chat's blowing up uh get some video yep i'm getting some video captain mike's not here but i'm doing the best i can with the cell phone and i borrowed a camera uh sean's over here what's up sean on, um sean you you flight pop boss sean flight boss sean and he pops in these chats sometimes what's your handle on youtube uh, gallagher that's my name. yeah it's your gallagher. name you're the <laughs> one guy in the world who has his handle on youtube is actually his name i don't know how that happened when I got on YouTube somehow, it like defaulted and it's it, been there. I it's probably it. like a Gmail thing. And you, what are you on YouTube? Yeah. I thought you're, you're not it's Timothy Tutan. No, That's Facebook or something. He's here too, by the way. Pop in and say hello if you want. There's the camera. We got, we got, hey, guys. Hey, yeah. what's going on? Right. We're so hanging we're out. out Somebody needs to hand me a yingling, chingling. Ding Warren's dong. behind you. Get Warren in there. Warren, where are you at? Yeah, Come in here. Say hi. This is the hip Santa Claus. Check him out. How's it going? What's <laughs> up? We're hanging out live uh, via RC Jetworks tents. Um, 2019 Jet Jam has been fantastic. Don't you think, guys? Absolutely. Been awesome. Absolutely. Absolutely. We, Riley we saying yes. We yesterday, but today the jets was flying. We just stopped flying until 8.30 tonight. Actually, no, sorry, no it was later than that. I tell you what, I got the air ball stand at 8.30. We kept flying after that. Until we all ran out of pat batteries. We ran out of batteries. Uh, and the wind was what little there was was right down the runway. We had we had favorable conditions all day long. It today. doesn't this get morning any it was, better it than this. Super, 
in this afternoon, like you said, right down the runway. What fantastic. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know what Riley, I'm you know the Riley song I'm singing over here. Come I, on in here, Riley. I did a bunch of maiden flights today. <laughs> we we made in the free wing F-35, the E Flight F-16, the FMS F-18. What else? Of maiden the Futura version two, because I had two of them, so this one hadn't flown yet. I on maidens. Not to mention flying a bunch of other stuff. We got to see the Havoc rip it up. Um, we got to see some 8S power systems, a lot of Andy RC Jetworks power systems flying around and some stuff, which was such a ball. And as Farley, we miss you. You didn't lose a day. I'm just doing a test. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing a test. It's one like, you know that, um, what do they call it? Daylight savings time? No. Yeah. yeah. When they fall back. We fell hard, like 24 hours, Dennis. <laughs> That's what's going on. Hey, serious, no. seriously, where's the bartender? Can I get in on one? I can't get up. You got another one? <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not sure if that's legal or not. It's so weird because I'm always doing this in a basement. Uh, unless I'm... When you get your refrigerator some, closer. Yeah. <laughs> and like a handful of coffees and stuff. Um, oh, my gosh. All right, you guys are, are the best. So, any questions? Man, I cannot wait to get through some of this footage and post it for you guys. But really, um, all of the regular suspects have been posting. Uh, if you follow Dave Kowiski on Facebook and a lot of our other buddies, um, thanks. <laughs> uh, I know they've been posting a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> Chew. Uh, where's the Starbucks? It's different today. It's in a can. Yeah, that camera uh, position just right. Absolutely <laughs> just right. Hello, King Rat. Eric Quinn says, what's the highlight, Ryan? The highlight is getting to hang out with my bros again. One bourbon. One bourbon. <laughs> um, it really is what's up. You know what I mean? You, you see these guys, you talk to them online all the time, and you finally get together, and you get to help each other out and fly with your pals. The weather was amazing. How many years of Jet Jam is this been now, Ken? This is five year, the fifth year for Rosewood RC Flyers hosted. Okay. It had two years of Muncie before it come down here. Okay. One was unofficial. One was official. I went to the it official a, one. It was Jet Jam. The second year they was there. The first year was just a bunch of guys that got together and say, "Hey, let's let's fly EDS." And yeah. the second year they actually give it a name and and went to town. And then uh, Bob Bellamini. He was your, uh, yeah, he was on last, last week, guys. What, remember that? Uh, what, the, what, Johnny on the spot, Johnny Johnny on the spot. spot. yeah, Bob, Bob Bellamini, Bellamini, the contest director, was our Johnny on the spot, uh, last week. And Ken, you tow the line hard for this event, right? Like, you work hard, and then our air boss is over here, Sean, who's double duty for Jetworks, but really, everybody puts it, together it, a great a lot effort. Of effort put into it, and then the guy's cooking too. Um, but like I work hard to try to make you all have fun. The, the people that I have flying. Yeah. I don't, I don't try to fly this weekend. I try to work for you guys. And and what I tell all the, all the pilots is if you're having fun, that makes me feel Then you good. did a good job. Yeah. Right. And, and I tell you what, thank him for the hot spot we got, because yeah. that's why we, uh, don't be jealous of the hot spot that we got. Isn't that a J Lo thing? I don't know. I'm not anyway, sure that. uh, that's why we're we're having the show tonight. And we've got some – actually, i got some hometown heroes over here. Adam um, C. <laughs> I won't even try to say Come your on name. Out, try. Uh, no. <laughs> I, you know what? I'll say it, and I'll skip the middle. Adam C. Ski. There you go. C. Ski. I don't know how to say the middle part. Bobby Baloney? Nope. Bobby Kamita is over here. Sorry, man. I had to say it. Me and my sister used to sing this song, Bobby Baloney, all the time. And it was like a thing with Brady Bunch and Burger King. Anyhow, you guys should come around here and say hi. Like, get around there in the shot, and you can see what everybody's seeing on YouTube land. But just these, keep your, these two are all, always my late night arrivals. Late night, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Ken was talking about these guys always showing up at one o'clock. Well, the reason why he's got to stay late and open the gate. There's Adam C. If you guys talk, know Adam C. from Facebook, you can cuss him out here if you'd like. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. 
Adam's got great input for the community, and I actually actually really like seeing your posts all the time on Facebook because it's 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 educational. How many what? Deuces Wild said that. Guys, I tell you, I've been looking forward to doing this lounge from here forever. Actually, we were talking about it, uh, me and Andy at RC Jetworks. We were talking about it when I was in Texas, like in the wintertime. Yeah, eight months ago. Um, that's Adam right there. And then Bobby, d dip your head in there. Bobby Kamita's right there. Bobby works, does a lot of stuff. Uh, can I talk about it? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Bobby does a lot of stuff <laughs> behind the scenes and does some video stuff and is, is kind of helping Dynam out a little bit. Adam's helping all of us out a little bit. Uh, films for both of us and just a treasure. Um, Victor, yeah, we're still doing it tomorrow for sure. It's about time you got out of the basement, says Reckham Roy's. Yeah, man. Prime time, large and in charge. So apparently the signal's working wonderful. It appears we're getting through. Yeah. Barry G says evening to all the hangar rats. <laughs> um, yeah, Dennis Farley. Yup, yeah, man, I we've seen a lot of neat stuff. I, um just just wait just follow on social uh you can follow the hashtag 2019 jet jam because this should place, be people dropping that this place is booming it was there's, hopping one one away from 100 registered pilots what was it last year that 78 nice there's people from that end all the way up to that end and it is i mean there's rvs all over the place there's tents popped up. There's pop-ups all over. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just been huge. This this thing has really taken It's off. so fun. I uh, and and guys, really the recap. I'm gonna I'm just gonna film like crazy and then recap it and I'll show it to you guys uh, eventually and you can see. Maybe we'll do a premiere like a recap from Jet Jam. I definitely want to go live tomorrow and then we'll do our recap. Um, and maybe we'll sit and watch that as a premiere and we'll get all your Rosewood flyers and your jet jam guys, um, on to check that out. Brian Chambers, what is going on? Victor Shamulus, I know you wish you were here. Um, Victor, he has been on everything saying he's California. Come to the house. Yeah. California, Victor. Victor and Barry G, do you guys fly together at the same field? I've been picking that up a little bit. Dennis Farley says the camera and sound are perfect. You can thank Ken for that. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> the Baron is on a roll. We're missing it. Uh, is he full of smart remarks? We love that. Fred Baron RC says he's on his number two brew. Speaking of number two brews, uh, Captain Mike wasn't able to make it. But uh, he'll be at Nephi with us. I made that sound all somber and sad. He just didn't come. <laughs> I mean, he, he's not with us. Yeah. He's not with us. <laughs> he had to fix a toilet or something, man. So, so fun. Victor, yeah, someday for sure. I tell you what, you guys figure out how to get me to California in wintertime or something. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'll bring my computer. And we can call it a write off, shall we? Oh, my goodness. So, do you guys see anything today? Have you been on social trying to fo follow what's going on? Anybody catching any of the Jet Jam festivities? On uh, we was we was too busy flying and working. I'm telling you, on ourselves. I captured somebody, a bunch. Somebody out there, tell us whether or not we was out there. Horizon was going live every now and then. I I, I did a post, yeah. but that's it, man. I just was capture, capture, capture. You're closer to Wayne Lee. Um, Jeff's customer C says, get us all t-shirts. I know where you can get some, the Teespring store. <laughs> I'm just shilling for myself. Sorry. Uh, saw Dave Kolwischke and noon demo Dennis Farley. Thanks for the answer to that question. Yeah. Nothing on YouTube yet, except for this Rick and Roy. Yeah. Which is just a get together right now. Ryan, let's call out some of the States. We've covered a bunch of states with this. Do it. Tell us where where are people coming from? We've got it. We you talk, and I'll stand back here and make sure everything looks. Good. Oh, okay. <laughs> we've, we've got. Uh, well, let's see. Indiana would be a good place to start. That's where we are, Indiana. And we've got uh, talk Kentucky. to the people, Ken. Yeah. We've got Illinois. We've got Missouri. We've got Alabama. Right back here, Alabama. We've got Texas over here, Andy. Who's 
in the in the shadows. Andy's in the shadows. Yeah. Arizona, Michigan, Colorado, Michigan. Michigan's been in the house since since Wednesday. They was they was one of the first to arrive. Uh, Florida, Ohio. Uh, did you say that already? I hadn't said Ohio yet. Ohio, Timber Brothers, Rhode Island, Where are Connecticut. The Timber Brothers? Um, there were. No, I think they went down for for something to eat. They oh, they was turkeys. tired of the hamburgers. Oh man, <laughs> I mean, I, I, I Maryland, right? Uh, Maryland, Maryland. We got a couple from Maryland, Maryland. North Carolina. Um, I don't. Texas. We I covered Texas, Texas with Andy. Texas, yeah. Um, we we we've got one from Germany. Uh, oh, yeah. From Schubler, Schubler's right. in the house. Um, Motown say, Philly back again. Say Florida. <laughs> I did, I did get Florida. We, yeah, yeah. We've got uh, BVM. Yeah. Um, it's been. We're, we're looking around because there's noise from an RV that's getting situated again. He come in. He come in the middle of the day when it was booming, and just found a spot. Now he's re rearranging oh, where level. he is and get. He's getting it. Uh, well, his door was to the outside of the parking lot. He wanted to be facing in, so he oh, turned around. I see. But yeah, we've had. Uh, We've had a bunch of states come, and I know I've missed some. Uh, Illinois had probably twelve different registrants, maybe fourteen. Nice, yeah. yeah. A lot of lot of guys getting to connect here, which is so fun because you see them all. You know, look, we all are obsessed, right? So we get online when we can't go do it. We get online to talk about it, <laughs> think about it, look at it, pine over our next purchase. You know. Yeah. They're crying. We did have a couple criers. Well, they wasn't crying, but they did have a reason to cry. Some crashes. We had a couple we picked up in garbage bags. Yeah, that's it true. Happens. It happens. And I, have a life I don't we think I got any of that on film either. It's too bad. Jordan Dole. Uh, yes, I did bring that E-Flight F-16 with me. Can't wait for the video. The video may come from Neffy because I just don't have my, my guy with me. I got guys who are willing to help, but I just... I can't yell at him the same way I can yell at Captain Mike. So, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't yell at Captain Mike. You want to tell him about your arrival last night at at eleven o'clock? Eleven o'clock, and then you had six oh, yeah. planes. And Not, I, I love it. This is a good fish story is because it 16? it's eleven. It was twenty-two. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> guys, I I have a little Ford Freestyle that I packed eleven EDFs into to get to this place. And um, I had spent four hours the night before getting them situated. And then um, I arrived at 11 last night. The gatekeeper, Ken, and Bradley Timber Brother Ream greeted me. That's right. Uh, before, I, before I had a chance to hit the port john these guys were on me in a golf cart like the SWAT team. <laughs> and uh, hit me, said, hello, man. We connected and we went down and tested out the Miller lights, made sure they were working. And uh, started putting airplanes together, didn't we? And then uh, I didn't even have set up my tent, man. It looks like I'm camping out in an RV, which is which is cool too. And I woke up to a breakfast burrito, Ken. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> and a microwave to heat up my uh, two day old Americano because I bought two when I was uh, doing it. You need to be arrested. No, I do not need to be arrested. And I'll tell you why. I'm camping on purpose so I can have more fun. Oh, thank goodness he gave you a new hat, says my wife. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. I tried to buy it from him. The son of a gun wouldn't take my money. I was well, like, why didn't he give me one? Because you're not as handsome. Oh, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm just kidding. Oh, Brookie, I'm glad to see you. Tell the kids hello. Um, they can catch, catch up with me on social. <laughs> Uh, no, they don't. They don't know what I do at all. Actually, uh, you loaded that freestyle. Yes, uh, Reckham Royce. Um, Eleven EDFs. Can you believe it? And if I if I do well tomorrow, I may come home with eleven. You know, it depends. I've gone to events and came home with fewer. And uh, it's actually not the worst thing, <laughs> especially when you Less pack backing. them in. Oh my goodness, yeah. I packed them in so crazy is is just nuts. So hey. Throw it. I it, it's been 20 minutes and it feels like an hour and a half <laughs> for once. It, it feels the other way. Usually time flies, but it's it's I feel like I'm I'm Johnny on the spot tonight. Raymond Cotton says he wants a crown and coke. Um, but let me know, you guys, what 
or who you want to talk to tomorrow in the show. What do you want to know? What do you want to see? What do you want us to do? Um, Eric Quinarcy says, get him a cowboy hat. Yeah, I outgrew that last one. My boy took it over. Uh, Reckham Roy says hi to my wife. Easy now. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, earlier? You, well, we will start earlier tomorrow because we're going to start at the regular old time, 9 o'clock. No, a little bit earlier than that so we can, they can see the, the view. Hey, yeah. You guys want to do the show earlier tomorrow? Let me know. That and way you can work longer. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I get a fly less is what it sounds like. It sounds like I get a fly less, which I don't know. We'll see. We got more daylight Ken, that you can see better. Ken's nudging me. Who's going to be Johnny on the spot? Tonight it's me, dude, I think, and all the rest of us. Um, photos of the airfield, says Barry G. That's cool. what I'm talking about. Barry G, he's with me. Well, that's that's video for the recap. I know I'm gonna fly till I can't see tomorrow. I guarantee it. <laughs> I guarantee it. Don't get it twisted, misters. Figure eight knife edges. Well, watch the Horizon Channel for that. <laughs> I tell you, every one of them. If you don't, if you can't do one, they don't hire you. Uh, those guys who have been fantastic, and it's been nice having them here. It's been great having them. Here. Yeah, we I'm, had a I'm couple like reps for them last time, and uh, they came in force. I feel like this they, time they really. Uh, they they embraced this this event. They have jumped up and and that's fun. And we've had you know several representatives from some BVM. Oh my gosh, Horizon. you guys! Motion, uh, motion's not. If in you're the house. close, you got to bring it. Come tomorrow. Yeah, motion's not in the house, but they they jumped up and and <laughs> provided us with. They did with some prizes. raffle stuff. Oh yeah, nice. Lots of Pilot them. Ryan showed up. Right. Well, yeah. He didn't bring nothing but an appetite, though. Well, you, <laughs> you brought 11. I mean, 16. I mean, 22. 22. Yeah, 22. 35. 35. 35. We got 35. 35. <laughs> I'm leaving with another one, but I'm trading out one. Uh, Andy got the FMS Scorpion still sitting in my car. And then I'm going to leave with an F14. Still sitting I don't, in my car. Still sitting in his car, and I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'm gonna have to liquidate some assets up in here. <laughs> Jetworks in the house. RC Jetworks in the house. BV Schubler in the house. BVM in that. Let's talk about our sponsors a little bit while we're goofing around on a Friday night. It's oh, Friday, right? On the spot. I don't know if I can. You okay? I, I don't the, know if I can remember all of them. You see, we got a handful. We got <laughs> Schubler. Schubler. RC Jetworks. Horizon Hobby. Yep. Oscar Meyer. Uh, well, we didn't have some hot dogs. Yeah, we had hot dogs. Yeah, that, don't, don't say hot dog. I'm so hungry. Who else? Um, We talk about BVM. Do we say BVM? Yeah, yes. Those guys. How about, how about Mike's, uh, Mike's stuff? Mike Warren's stuff? Um, Speak up. Performance EDF. Performance EDF. Performance EDF. Thank you, Jeff. Works for providing me with the name. Yeah. I, Bill Surratt. Hello, man. Sorry you couldn't make it. I know you were wanting to, tr to get here. Deuce is wild, dude. That giant L39. It we is saw huge. a massive. You know what's kind of funny? I was getting ready to take up a maiden flight on the FMS 70 millimeter F18. And um it was, you know what? We had a big monster. Who made that F18? That's, that, a, that's the BDM F18. It's their new aircraft. Okay. So that were, thing was sick. It and it looked perfectly dialed in, yeah. didn't it? it yeah. <laughs> Is it Allie or Ollie? How do you say it? Allie. Allie. I mean, I'm a Hoosier, so it's Allie for sure. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. His kid's awesome too, by the yeah. way. That was so Zobby? fun. Oh yeah. my goodness! Such a good time. Oh, he's what? Killing it! Yeah, I mean, he's, killing he's, it! Be just be watching everything coming from this show because you'll 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 be able to catch. That you'll be able to catch up on all this, so you're you're not missing out. So we'll bring it to you. Um, certainly, someone filmed that F-18. I think I did actually, didn't I? Because it was getting ready to be my turn on the FMS seventy millimeter in runner. I was, I was, because, and I, I gave Bob Bellamini a hard time because I got my turn yanked from me so they could fly that thing. But I really don't care. What you about, know what I mean? What about Chris in, in his three D? Uh, plane 
Dirty D, Dirty D, Chris. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Oh, my goodness. How many people was filming that? That was fantastic. I, I, if you guys are, you've seen it. It's 8.330. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. It's Dirty D. His yeah. name is Chris Graca. Graca? Yeah. That's yeah. It. That's it. Um, Chicago area. Yep, Chicago area. Smart kid. He's got an Instagram. I think he's under Dirty D on there. He's got that the, plane. He's got a build log on RC groups. The kid is gifted. And he flew oh. it and that thing flew. Oh, all that and more. It flew really good. Does that thing have a retracts? I know he didn't tuck the gear. He didn't tuck them, but he, he does have them. What, what kind of steel cojones must he have as well to maiden fly that thing here? How many with people everybody was watching, video in it? everyone, everybody had their camera. I filmed it. I filmed it. It might have been a cell phone, but I filmed it. So somebody's, everybody that filmed it. Gonna make it. Everybody filmed that thing. That was awesome, and and everyone was asking him what printer he's using, and I'm not up on the 3D lingo, but he he was very intentional about saying it was just a regular run of the mill, nothing fancy printer. So like Everything. he he you would think the that he printed plane. this thing from some crazy big fancy, but it was just like a run of the mill, three D printer, and the kid worked it out. And if you follow on Facebook, you've seen this guy's, uh, even Instagram, he posts pictures of his work every now and then, but it's usually like detail shots. So I mean, I, I've seen this thing come together and just piece at a time, and then here it was sitting, and he maidened it. I mean, it's neat, man. I mean, the, the guy's a scale fidelity genius as well. So the landing gear looked really windows, good. Windows, everything windows. down the side of it was awesome. Oh my, he had a MiG-15 that was a 3D print job last year that he was flying. Remember that thing? Yeah. But this one, it looked – so for some reason, it looked more substantial. I think that gray primer makes it look <laughs> just awesome. But, uh, he yeah, took, yeah, be watching out. That around. What, do we, what do we have, uh? Two, three minutes, about a three minute, about a three minute, and and brought it back in. He was he was smiling from ear to ear. Oh, what a good show! Yeah, and everybody was, neat. was watching that. That was neat. Any other stuff that sticks out to you like that from today? We'll just kind of like recap the day a little bit. I don't know. Our, our air bosses did a fantastic job if you if you saw a picture of how many planes was lined up from the north oh end goodness. to the south end yeah and or you're Andy, you're sean sean <laughs> all those planes and sean sam and, and bob helped out some bob helped a little bit too, yeah. all those planes got up and down today at least once and there was hundreds down through here yeah hundreds man. and they got them all up and down we lost a couple in the mix, but, you know, that's bound to happen. And some really unique stuff, too, and some what I'd call vintage, right? The, the, I, there was a one or two, what, yellow models, yeah, so F-15. Yellow, yellow F-15 was Wasn't there another one? What's that other one? Byron? Big monster. What, what do those take? Are those, like, 150s? What are the EBFs in those? Jim's got 120. There's two going there, and then um, I forget who the other who owns the yellow one, but I think he's got uh, twin ninety shield in his. Can you guys hear Sean? What is it? You think twin ninety shublers? Twin ninety shublers. Oh yeah, you're pick. Yellow. You're you're in there. Good. And uh, and the uh, Jim's uh, Byron has a twin one twenty jet fans. In it. Nice. And then I always get it wrong that that. Brett's plane, your other team pilot. Right, yeah. Let's Brett's talk about that thing a little Brett, bit. Brett's the Valkyrie. Yeah. yeah. Right. Four 70 millimeter Schubler, like right. in runners in there. Right. And your batteries, Andy. Yeah. And that thing is amazing. Um, I think everybody films that one too. Oh, yeah. Every but time I, I did over, as well. So don't watch anyone else's videos, <laughs> only watch mine because I make a nickel every one gazillion views from them. So watch it. <laughs> watch it on this channel because i need that nickel <laughs> i need that nickel i mean nah it's not that bad but it's bad i mean it's like a dollar a thousand views we we had uh the ups uh yeah help DC, me out DC 10. DC yeah 10. that thing yeah he was here last year he's right? always here he's yeah. always here he's he's one of our uh he's he's one of our members that is non-local oh. 
we, oh, we yeah. have we have two different membership rates, local and non-local, and and he's one of our members that comes in from uh, northern Kentucky. He uh, he's always got the, his UPS planes and. Uh, he worked he there and little, retired there, didn't he? No, he's not retired. He's still working. He's still UPS. working there, but he works UPS. Yes. I remember with James and I actually talked to him. Did a pretty nice little video you, on him video last year. Was good. Yeah, it's and if you want to see it, had it's a on the motion bit of an channel. Issue this year, and that he had uh, he bounced in a landing, which he never does. Yeah, he says uh, it takes him about four hours. No, I think it was about an hour each um, truck. For his landing gear, and he, I think he busted a couple trucks up. Oh, no. He'll have it back out. He says, you know, it, it takes a little bit. That plane has a thousand, thousand plus. Last year, Jet Jam, he went over a thousand. Uh, yeah, he was like breaking a, uh, passing a milestone on yes. the numbers last uh, year. Last year, Jet yeah, Jam, and yeah. he's flown it a bunch since then. But yeah, you know, it's over a thousand because he hit that last year. Right. So cool. And he'll be back and running tomorrow because he he's had, coming back tomorrow. He had, it, it, I don't, it was I don't like the rubber he, came off the wheels or something, right? Well, he he actually, I didn't see what happened, but I, I saw the end result. And then he lost a truck, he lost a couple trucks on his landing gear. All and they're right. all the whole plane is is uh, uh built up. He he built it, he designed it, built it, and then it looks like a UPS jet. Yeah, it's fantastic, guys. And if you want to see that thing in action, really check out the, uh, the video y'all done last Motion year. Motion RC uh, YouTube channel did a video 2018 last year, probably highlights. Um, and yeah. and Timothy Tuton yeah. uh, did one as well. So th there's plenty of footage of that thing, and there will be some from this year as well. You might even see that skip, that bounce. Yeah, What's the name of your. Oh my gosh, could you believe it? I mean, he did some crazy stuff with that last year. What's the name of your channel? Mr. T. Colt Pilot. Mr. T. Colt Pilot. Colt. C O L T. C O L T. In here. Um, don't do an. Okay. What? Well, I haven't seen the chat for a minute. Nichols for Ryan. Yeah, thanks. Uh, <laughs> Joe. Hey, what are you doing in the chat, but not in the tent? Get down here, turkey. Joe Reem. Come on down here. Let's talk about something, Joe. We got Johnny on the spot zone on a rotational basis. We could get Ken out of here and put someone else in here for a minute. No, stay in. <laughs> no, you've been great. You've been fantastic. You've been great. Um, Wayne Lee 630 says you'll regret Facebook. What do you mean? Don't get me going on, on, the, on privacy because you don't have any anyway. They got your number if they want it. <laughs> uh, did I just say that? You know what's funny? That reminds me of a crazy, completely off-topic uh, comment I want to make. I got – you guys, if you have a web address, you get spammed all the time. And, and you get fished all the time. I got this guy sent me an email. Um, oh, my gosh. I should pull it up. Sent me an email this week, and it was like – I got – he threw some old password of mine out at me. He's like, I got your password, and I know your secrets. All of them. Like all, like all caps, you know. And he told me all the specific crap he had done to, like, get into my computer and, like, you know, potentially wreck my life and all this kind of stuff and my secrets. I mean, he's really ca all caps on that stuff. And uh, he wanted, like, $1,800 in Bitcoin or something. He told me where to send it. I emailed him back. That? Yeah, it's a lot of videos. <laughs> I I emailed him back. I said, oh, thanks so much for your concern. Um, I'll let the proper authorities know right away that there's a problem with my, you know, internet. And um, I don't have any secrets. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Broadcast it. Little does he know. I, you know, basically the camera's always rolling. Get, go ahead, bro. I'll keep my Bitcoin, which I don't have any, and I wouldn't know how to get it. it it's like Pokemon cards, isn't it? So. Come on, Ryan. That's stupid. <laughs> um, that's my – see, these guys will talk in the chat a lot, and you'll miss things. Um, yeah, so if you, if you see me fall off the grid, then the guy was absolutely serious, and it wasn't a spam, and he – he wiped me out, <laughs> but there's no secrets. It's just, he can, if he can wipe me out, he'll wipe me out. We'll see.
What a troll. Absolutely. <laughs> and you're, I can't, there's some little ones around, so I'm not going to read that comment back, Deuces Wild, but that's hilarious, by the way. Um, no Dave's RC tonight. Yeah, Barry G. I mean, this was a surprise. We didn't let anybody know this was happening. But Joe Remus, we didn't know we were going to happen. We didn't know we were, this is a test of the emergency podcast system. This is only a test. Um, yeah, I showed my wife that uh, email. She's like, oh, good thing you're not a creep. I'm like, yeah, thank goodness. I'd be scared. I'd be trying to figure out how to come up with 1,800 Bitcoin. Chris Jackson, <laughs> right? I'm for real. That's how they get you. Good thing I don't have any secrets. Because, uh, again, privacy, eh. Good luck with that. Uh, Chris Jackson, this is Jet Jam. Welcome to the Terror Dome. Um, Victor Shamulus dropping links to rcjetworks.com. Appreciate that. Um, by the way, anybody have the FMS 70 millimeter F18 and want to know the perfect battery of, of, of the universe? It's the 4000 RC Jetworks pack. It was amazing in it. I made it on a heavier one, but I, I like that one the best. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm not going to keep you because I want you tomorrow. So uh, this test, I guess, worked okay. Yeah, where are the jets? They're all packed away, man. It's dark, David Wilson. We put them to sleep. Um, uh, new guy here. Thanks for coming by, Johan. I don't know about the F-16, but I've got the Super Viper turbine, and I believe the important differences. Uh, turbine versus EDF R1 jet pipelining and two EDF needs bigger holes for the a hundred percent correct. Can I tell how? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, do it. All right, I, I was trying to you know do, be that kind of secretive of asking him, but he reads out my private message to him. But anyhow, no secrets. No what secrets I was I was under the table yeah. and everything, right? You and know, I'm but, like, go for anyhow. it. Yeah, yeah, do it. We had it. We had a remarkable story here. It's a horizon come to the rescue story. We had a young man here that had traveled with his grandma and grandpa to come up from Texas. He was in the Dallas area. They drove all the way up here for the, the young man. He's 15 to fly and he uh, he'd heard about it. He wanted to come up here and all that. There's uh, grandma, grandpa, and three kids. They uh, get here. The young man pulls his, his uh, airplane out of the car, goes to setting it up and everything, and he's got failure. He's got a servo that went out. Uh, it took his control box out with it, and he comes to me. He says, I pre-registered, but I don't know if I'm going to get to fly. Oh, no. And I asked him, I said, well, you know, what's, what's the problem? And he goes, I've got a servo that went out and took my control box. And I said, listen, we'll do what we can. You're going to be in the air this week. For sure, yeah. We're, we're yeah. going to get you in the air. For real. You come He's from anywhere. years old, and he yeah. come from Texas. Grandma and Grandpa brought him up here because he, you know. And so we start doing what we can to try to figure out where we can get parts, um, you know, how we can get shipped in here. And one of our club members that's in town and it's not out here, they can get it, receive it, and bring it out here to him and all this. And Horizon, I went over, you know, the Horizon guys are here, and we went over to them and said, hey, now, this kid's got a problem. He's come from Texas. He's only got one plane with him. He can't fly. They said, we'll take care of that. Nice. And so they get him up there, with, and the Horizon guys come, and they, they have a box. And they stand it up behind him, and they said, hey, excuse me. You got a, you, I hear you got a problem with your plane. We're going to take care of it for you. They set that box up there and tell him, says, we're going to give you this. Nice. That kid put like 10 flights on his new was plane that today. Was the kid with the F4? The other yes, that guy? was him. He's he was ripping it, wasn't he? 10 flights. He was flying to... with Z Zavi? Yes. Yeah. He was flying with that kid. Oh, he hooked up with Zavi. Yeah, That's they was so like fun. big buds. Yeah. Ollie, Ollie did a um, buddy box with was him for the maiden. Was it the same plane that failed on him, or did he have something different? I'm sorry? What What was the plane that went bad? Um. You or, don't or, want it. You don't want me to just okay, say that. Man, all right. It was an F twenty two. Okay. 
um, but, okay. But yeah, he, he has, it's fixable though. Yeah, well, it's fixable. Yeah. He just didn't have parts here yeah. right now. Oh, so good. But, awesome. but they brought him this plane and they said, listen, this thing don't need any glue. It puts together real quick. You, you go back tonight and put it together. So last night he went back and put it together tonight or today. He brought it out. Andy pleasure. See you tomorrow. See you out of here. Got to take care of the family. See you tomorrow. Awesome. Hey, everybody. Tell, uh, hey, look, with the show of emojis, tell everybody, uh, tell tell Andy from RC Jetworks goodbye in the, in the chat. Um, Bye, Andy. See you later. Bye, Brian. See you tomorrow. But, All right, but this man. kid Appreciate had like you. 10 flights today. Drive safe. See ya. He got to, he got to buddy box with Ollie, right? And Dream he, come true. And Ollie says, I, you know, this kid, he, he slickered it in every flight today. And he has a smile like from here. I'm glad he had some chops too, because if if he didn't, his F-22 would be beyond him. <laughs> but he he uh, was doing a great job with that F-4. You you watched him come in well, how many times several today? Times, yeah. Several I mean, times. Good at taking direction and all that oh, stuff. Yeah, you guys have great heard, young man. Great you guys have heard man. me say it before. How cool! Oh my goodness! Look at the emojis, dude. <laughs> my, Is that for Andy or the yeah. young man? Vic, Victor Shamula says you suck, Andy. He didn't give any emojis. Um, you guys are the best. Oh my goodness, hanging rats forever. Um, this is, I guess, kind of show forty-five, but tomorrow will be officially forty-five. But I've this told you guys four and three quarters, forty-four and three quarters. <laughs> uh, I've told you guys how cool it is having an air boss, um, Sean, and and Sam and Blake last year. But Sean really held it down all day today for the most part. Sam was there, but um, it's so fun because you really feel like you're. You really have to coordinate, and you have to listen. And you have to call it out, and your spotters are working. Because if you've been to other shows, most planes you have a bigger margin of bringing them in. The EDFs, you know, have a little bit shorter flight times than this other stuff that people might fly at events. So you're working your butt off we, to coordinate bringing them in and we, getting we out of the way. To, we turned to Sean this year and said, "Hey." You know, last year you dealt with four every every time. This year we're going to have too many people to, to have four in here. We yeah. need to have more. And turn to Sean and says, hey, can you get six up and down? He's like, yeah, six. yeah. I can. And, and what's your time frame? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, we figured that 30, uh, seconds. 30 seconds, six airplanes is three minutes. That's an average flight time. Talk about Johnny on the spot. I mean, yep. not that you have to be a pro to be here, but you know what? There's always a lull, too. There is. In the event. So, mo honestly, did you ever hit six today? We didn't. We you did, did five. We did five uh, on a regular basis. Yep. And five four mostly. Started, yeah, four mostly. We did hit five when we had a line. Yeah. Uh, never never did go to six. I didn't think we had to. But nope. five worked out no, really it was yeah, nobody. It was a nice day, too. And it, how, many, how many was in line? I mean, we would have six, eight. You're in line with your buddies. Oh, yeah, you're talking. You know, it's not like it. at the store where no one wants to talk to anybody. Yeah. They get on their phone. You're all, oh, that looks cool. That looks cool. This is cool. That's fun. What would you think of that? Uh, there's, there's, yeah. there's, a, there's a couple times that I had to tell, tell, ask people if they were flying or talking because they're having <laughs> a good time. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like a show and tell. Victor Shamulous. <laughs> Victor Shamulous always with the right jab. He says, a long ass test. Like, yeah, it's a long ass Ryan. test. All right. <laughs> Ryan. Jeremy Soul, I just heard about the hookup of the kid from Texas. Yeah. Well that's, done, that's Horizon. Well, yeah. Cool. Who? Mary Boozer, what's up? Ryan. Yes. We have an announcement. Okay. Number 100. <laughs> Number 100. In the house. Congratulations. Right. Jet Jam 2019 has just cleared 99 and become 100 registered pilots. And we don't know how many snuck under the radar, but we think none. Because believe it, I feel like a member uh, remotely as well because it's 40 bucks. <laughs> 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 but it's, it's worth it. It's worth it. 100. 100. Congratulations, Bob Jet Jam Bellamini. 2019. Bob Bellamini. What a what a plan he had five years ago to bring it down here. Jeremy, you'll have to do it, man, one of these days. Mr. Sorry, go ahead. No, Bob Bob Bellamini. He, he had a plan. He saw this field, and he says, this is going to make EDF Jet Jam the, the prize. Uh. And and Bob brought it down here. There's not a blemish on this runway. I mean, it oh, is this. Man. This oh. is a heaven on earth. Oh. And the irony is, 
you you come in on some of the craziest <laughs> roads ever, and then you get here and it's you just saw the like, good roads, Ryan. Did I? Oh yeah, I come from the other way. It's gravel it's the other way, right? <laughs> yeah. Gravel and, it was. The, and you got to wait on the horses. Yeah. The speed limit's fifty-five, and you feel like you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's what Formula One. Is. Hey, I'm gonna talk to these guys, and we're gonna cut the show down right now, man. I'm not gonna keep it's you for an over. hour. I'm gonna cut it, man. It's forty-five minutes in, and we're gonna do this tomorrow. Um, now, Brad, where you been? Last night, hey, Brad. Um, Last night the uh, you've been looking for the wind Timber was brothers. Nuts, Here they are, but today was just beautiful. John Campbell, the wind kept us all on our toes. Where were you at, John? Here? <laughs> it was yesterday. Yeah, I was yesterday. gonna say, man, because here was, was perfect. Pretty, yeah. um, Deuces wild. See you tomorrow. Olson Aviation uh, said, "Don't say anything important. I have to pee." You can always catch it on the replay. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Ryan, for coming up with a test. Yes, man. Thanks, Ken, for the hot spot. Um, RC Weaven, good to see you, Bill Surratt. Uh, there's a lot to come from this event from multiple sources, but again, I want your nickels. So, nah, I, I'm just kidding. Be, be looking <laughs> out. Um, there'll be stuff all over the place. Hey, um, we we have a Facebook page, EDF Jet Jam, EDF Jet Jam Facebook page. It. Yeah, okay. Go, oh, I like it. Anyhow. What's the name of it? EDF, EDF Jet, Jet Jam. Jam. So tag them. If yeah. if you've been at the event and you're posting, tag EDF Jet Jam, and they can share it to their page. Right. That's how it works. I'm going to get off of here so I can um, make test those Miller lights some more. <laughs> and uh, your logger supply left. Oh, no. <laughs> um, guys, see you tomorrow. You're the best. We love you. Let's do this thing. We're going to wrap it. I'm out. We're out of here in five. Hanger rats forever. Three you later. You're too good to be forgotten. Stick a monkey pants. Later. We'll see you tomorrow, 9 o'clock Eastern time, unless I change my mind. 8.30. No, <laughs> I want to fly till dark. I can't see guys. We're out. We love you. See you later. Thanks a lot. Uh, hey, like it on your way out and uh, share this thing if you'd like, because I think people will be glad to have seen it. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Jet Jam 2019 is killing it. Oh, 100. Yeah. Later. Boom. Oh, yeah. Sweet. Oh.